Trinities, welcome back. Thanks for being here. So this is Act 30, Infinity 4, Haruka and Michiru, Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune. Lots going on in that title. It's a mouthful for the English dub. Um, not as many thoughts on this one, but um, I do right off the bat really love that Tux is the one that figures it out at the beginning and he, he realizes, oh, it's, is that Michiru? And I, I really like that he's the one that figured it out. Um, once again, I really like the running theme of SMC in the sense that they are a lot more um, forthcoming with the information. We don't have to wait through several episodes to get one piece of information. I know a lot of people haven't really liked that um, with as far as they feel it's character development or lack thereof. I really like the the quicker information. I like the quicker pace. I've always really liked that from the beginning. Um, protective mamo moment when he's sitting there on the bed watching them sleep. It's just an awe moment. I love that. Um, and also when Haruka is uh, with Misa and they meet up in the park or they run into each other and Mamo runs up. I love that. It's just like, oh, heart, heart, heart. Um, <laughs> I absolutely love it when he arrives and Haruka says, and the prince arrives, and it's just like, oh my god, I love that. <laughs> um, when Shibuyusa asked if Usa cheated on Mamo, I was like, oh, you little brat. There's a little brat that I know and remember. And then, you know, you see Mamo be like, I'm a little jealous, but I know he has his reasons. There's this part of me that doesn't like to see how rational he is about that. But then again, I guess when you know how your future is going to end up, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Handy information to have, I suppose. Um, Villoui, I'm okay with her voice. Um, I can't say that I'm overwhelmed with her voice. Um, I think it's a little subdued, kind of like Mimet's was, just not as much. Um, although I will say a couple of her lines actually made me chuckle, although I'm not sure they were supposed to. <laughs> um, still loving Kaoli Knight. Um, the Michiru's mean girl voice came back out. And then when she was like transforming, it sound, when she calls out to transform, it sounded fine. So it's like weird with her voice. I don't know. Um, speaking of the transformations, I do I do notice that, you know, the outer, uh, well, Michiru, Neptune and uh, Uranus's transformations are much shorter and they're a lot less, I guess you could say, than the inner Senshi transformations. And I would understand, I understand that though, but it, it suits them at the same time. I think it suits their, their Senshi. So, um, kind of weird, but yeah. And, uh, as for the other, uh, I'm glad we didn't really get necessarily transformations for the other ones. I do like their entrance in this again, when they come in and, uh, you, you see Mars, and uh, Jupiter with the coconut cyclone and stuff. So, and so I did really like that entrance. Um, Reika sounds good. Matoki, jury's still out on that one. And yay, Setsuna. I love it. I love Setsuna. I like her voice too. And oh my God, the ending on this episode. I do love this ending. It's so happy and upbeat. But my favorite ending's coming up in the next few episodes. And speaking of that, I will be back with the next act next week. So as always, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. Until next time, Moonies.